Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to share with you this project that I created for Scrapaholics Design Team. Um, I used some of the fun chipboard. It's a really cute idea that I saw off Instagram from Creative Jewelers. So thank you for the inspiration. Um, and it's it's a play on the bookcase that I believe it was Craft Purge did. Um, few months back and this is just a mini version of it that I created into an MDC card. So stay tuned because there is a tutorial at the end that I'm doing for the Loaded Envelopes Galore and More Facebook group for the Memory Dex uh, swap this month. And um, let me just get in, I'm going to show you this before I get into the tutorial, but I used some of the fun chipboard that I received from Scrapaholics. This shine here is from a set called Sparkle and Shine. I used some of the stars in the background and I just did a white crackle paste on it. This is just a shimmer um, paint that I had in my stash. And if you look in the back, I used some of these really cool um, swirls that they have, and I'll link everything down below. But um, that this is the paper collection that I used is a really old collection by uh, Echo Park Papers, and it's called You and Me. And the this is actually a pretty pretty sturdy piece. I made the MDC itself. This is about three layers thick and I used 110 pound cardstock and then I did pattern paper on both sides. So it's about five layers thick and then I used 110 pound cardstock for the bookcase itself and then it's um, it's got two extra layers with the pattern paper as well. So it's a pretty sturdy little piece that you got here. Um, it's just fun. I really like this. I wanted to get into some more springtime florals and fun colors. So look inside the box. Now the boxes I'll measure about two and three quarters tall and then it has a one and one eighth of an inch spine. No, a one and a quarter spine. And each box has this tiny little box inside it. It of course has three layers to it, so it's it's a pretty sturdy box too. Um, I did a little sequence mix inside mine. And to make the closures, I'm not gonna go over that in the tutorial, but all I did was slide a piece of pattern paper underneath and did a little Velcro closure. But I mean, that's up to you. You could do, um, you could do a ribbon tie, you could do, magnets. You, there's a lot of fun options and I did a little charm on each of the boxes as well. And then inside this one, once again, I did a little charm. It's got a beaded, um, a wire wrapped bead and this tiny little star charm on there. Inside, you're going to find some of these cool little uh, glitter filled charms. Um, that I was just sharing from my collection. And then you'll see once again, one of those glitter filled charms on this. And inside I did some little mini pom poms and these cute lip sequins. Now, if you're participating in the swap, you can put anything you wish inside the boxes. I'm not getting picky with that. But, um, so this was my, my design team project. It's, it's a super fun, quick and easy project. There's not a whole lot of work involved. This isn't you know, one of my harder projects that I do, but, um, let me, oh, and I did use this heart from Scrapaholics chipboard too. The base is just a crepe paper rosette that I created and then a whole bunch of stickers and pattern paper from the collection. But let's uh, let's get into the tutorial now. There's three, four basic components that you're gonna need for this. To begin with, you're gonna want a memory decks card. So I made this a little bit of a hybrid project, but you could do it even if you did not have a machine. It's not it's not a tough one. Um, all I did inside Design Space or Silhouette Studio, whatever you have, is I welded a rectangle to 
an MDC card. Um, I kept the rectangle at about three quarters in uh, from the bottom. And then I, like I said, this is, I cut three of these out and then I did pattern paper on this side and pattern paper on this side. So it's about five layers thick. We'll set this aside. And like I said, the rectangle is four and a quarter by three, weld it to the MDC, cut all of those out. For the base of the bookcase itself, you're going to want a piece of, I used 110 pound cardstock. In the original Craft Purge tutorial, she used pattern paper that's double sided. I just wanted a little more heft to it, so I ended up using the um, 110 pound cardstock, and then I just did pattern paper on each side to decorate. It's up to you though. You're going to want one that's seven and three quarters by six and a quarter. And then I'm gonna help you score it. We're gonna score at one and three quarters on this side. Flip it around and do another one and three quarters. I like to do it this way just because I'm guaranteed that the lines are gonna be even on, on every side. You could probably just score at six inches if you wanted to though. Okay, flip it over and you're gonna score at three. And then you're going to score again at four and three quarters. Okay. Now, just to the score line, you're going to want to cut on each side right on the score lines. Now, all I did for mine, because you're going to want to kind of miter these in a little bit so that they lie a little easier. And if you'll notice that this square right here is a little bigger than this one right here. All I did was cut it off right there. And I'm going to do the exact same thing with this side. And you can just eye it up, it's no, you're not even gonna see it anyways. Okay, that's what you should have. I'm gonna set my scoring board aside. You can kind of see how the bookcase is starting to come together. We just have to do two more cuts. So right now we have this. All I did, now you can you can get a measure or a ruler and do this, but me, I'm just gonna eye it up. For the purpose of keeping this video long, or short, I should say, sorry. Okay, All lined up, boom. Easy peasy, right? We've got our bookcase. Now you're just gonna wanna add some glue right here and right here on your tabs. Glue those down. Same thing on this side. Glue here, glue here. And we have our bookcase. I put my pattern paper on before I started gluing everything together, uh, but that is completely up to you. At this point, if you have all of your pattern paper on your MDC, you're just gonna line this up because this bookcase is gonna measure that same four and a quarter inches by three inches tall. You'll just glue it right to your MDC like that. And we have our bookcase at this point. The book jacket, you'll need to make three of these and you're gonna need a piece of, of 110 pound cardstock that measures four and a quarter by two and three quarters, and you're gonna score it each end at one and a half. And that's on the long side. So let's grab our scoring board again. And I'm just gonna flip this over. And I'm gonna score it one and a half. And then I'm gonna do a half turn. And again, at one and a half. 
and that's going to leave you a one and quarter inch spine on this. You're going to, again, make three of these. Set them aside. Now for your book box, once again, make three. You're going to need four and three quarters inch by three and a half. This is 110 pound cardstock, and you're just going to make a basic box. You're going to score at one and one eighth on each side. So we're going to bring it over here. One and one eighth, quarter turn, one and one eighth. One more. There we go. Okay, this is gonna leave you with something that looks like this. And you're gonna wanna come in again and just cut right up to the first score line. Once again, I'm gonna leave a little clearance for these sides to close. So I cut out just that sliver there and flip it over and do the exact same thing on this side. When we put it together, we have a box just like that. And these boxes are gonna go inside the book jacket like this. And I set it so that my box sits like this. And then once again, to make my closure, all I did is take a strip of paper and glue it on this side, and then I brought it over. I used my bone folder to kind of create that curved edge, and then just stuck it on with some Velcro. But that's it, you'll need three of these. I covered them with pattern paper. Here, I'll grab one. So you have two of the larger pieces of pattern paper on this side, and then one that's slightly smaller for the spine. Inside, I did um, some more pattern paper, and then I covered my box in pattern paper, but before I glued that box down, I added that little tiny strip of paper. And you can see that it's kind of curved, so that it closes really nicely for you. And there's plenty of room inside the box for whatever kind of closure you want to do. Oh, and uh, if you're gonna add a charm, I would do it after you do the pattern paper, just an FYI, I kind of screwed that up the first time around. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I can't wait to see what you're going to create. Head on over to Scrapaholics Chipboard. They have some amazing stuff in the shop and you're gonna be seeing a couple new projects that I've done this month. Uh, and head on over to the Loaded Envelopes Glow and More Facebook group if you're participating in the swap and I will have further details uh, to show you. Thanks for watching and if you like this video, give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!